Hello lovely dancers, my name is Aisha and welcome to Belly Dance Tutorials. Today's class is gonna be a lecture again and we're gonna talk about uh, when a wrong move it's actually not wrong. <laughs> um, we know all about ways of not doing a certain move or not keeping our body in a certain way but sometimes that is okay and in belly dance there are so many exceptions to any rule. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about that. Um, a, move, a movement is not wrong in the correct context of a dance style. Um, what we call the dance style characterization. So sometimes uh, in certain uh, belly dance genres or belly dance styles, um, some ways of keeping our body or body parts or some ways of doing uh, a certain move are okay. For instance, um, I could give you several examples. Um, a typical one is the arms, yeah? <laughs> the W arms is something that we are always told. <laughs> don't keep your elbows down, don't do the, the W arms position. Um, but sometimes it's okay if, for instance, you have uh, a belly this style, which is way more relaxed. Um, it's a dance where originally people uh, did in their houses. It's a social. It's, it stems from a social dance, and they didn't go to the dance school, so they didn't learn how to do a porte de bras, how to keep their arms high, up, extended, and so on. So they kept their arms like here, uh, like like that. And it's okay to represent the dance in, like, like, with all the parts, with, with the arms down. And especially that it's more flirtatious, so this gives us a little bit of uh, more um, leverage to do a more flirtatious movement. So even if they are, you know, down like that, it's okay. Um, Another another example could be the Iskandarani dance, you know, Malaya Lef, and I have here a little scarf. <laughs> it's not a full Malaya, it's just a little scarf. But, you know, at some point in Malaya Lef uh, dance style, we would keep our Malaya wrapped around the arms like that, so we can hold it <laughs> around, you know, the arms and we'll keep the arms down so it, it'll stay, <laughs> okay? So this is another way of, another example when W arms are okay. All right, um, another example. <laughs> For instance, the shimmies, you know, and in another video I talked about how to do really big hip shimmies, um, actually, I call them knee shimmies or leg shimmies and how to avoid the vib vibrational shimmies but sometimes it's okay to do vibrational shimmies if the music is uh, soft even if it's staccato uh, so uh, shimmies are appropriate but it's very soft and that happens a lot with violins when they do the that staccato sound with the violin um, and that's usually pretty it's not intense it's it's um, it's soft and and very, um, I know, um, uh, it, I don't have a good term for that right now. <laughs> but for that, it's okay to do just vibrational shimmies here because we represent the music and this is how the music goes. Yeah, small vibrational shimmies are okay. Um, so these are some examples about the, uh, when a wrong move is actually okay. <laughs> um, my advice to you is to take classes with various teachers because you'll, um, you'll learn ways of doing a certain move that may speak to you better. Sometimes, you know, a certain teacher will tell you the technique for something that really speaks to you and then all of a sudden it clicks. Also they will tell you the difference between different styles, or different uh, 
uh, dance forms. So, because not everybody knows everything. So, you know, it helps to, to actually take classes with different teachers and also in different styles. Because you may not know <laughs> um, that, you know, for a certain type of music or a certain phrase or a certain way of uh, the music is going, that you have options, that you could do other moves or in another way that you didn't know before. So, um, so it's very important to have a good um, movement vocabulary. It's very important to know the rules so you can break them. And when you choose to change something in your movement, it has to come from a place of knowledge and not from a place that, you know, you didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know better. So, uh, yeah, work on building movement vocabulary, work on building body awareness. Um, so when you do a movement, pay attention to what other parts of your body are doing. But of course, you can use the mirror to know that. Sometimes it's better to videotape your practices uh, away from the mirror because when you don't have the control from the mirror, everything changes. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's my advice to you for now. Um, and if you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you have any comments or any suggestions, please write them down in the, in the comments and I'll try to address them. And um, until next time, shimmy shimmy!